Wherever it is alive, it must be defeated. Life-changing and inspirational is how I remember Dr. Martin Luther King. I was in my first month as photographic editor of the university newspaper. I was told that Dr. Martin Luther King would be coming to receive an honorary degree in November. And that was momentous as far as I was concerned because I had read about Dr. King in the past few years with various incidents in America and I did understand what his civil rights movement was about. I remember very well meeting the party with Dr. King. On the way into the room, one of the um, entourage with Dr. King um, asked me, what's the scene here, man? And I just answered, not really thinking it through, that we were gonna have coffee, um, have a little chat, and then at the appropriate time would go down to the hall for the ceremony. I didn't realize until someone told me later that he was asking what the racial situation was like in England. I was really privileged to be there, to be able to have a quick chat in the uh, coffee um, room and then to actually be allowed to attend the ceremony which was limited to um, a few hundred people. The speech itself was life-changing, phenomenal. In particular the sense that you can't change people's hearts but you can change the law was something that I've taken with me for the whole of my life. It may be true that the law cannot change the heart, but it can restrain the heartless. And so while the law may not change the hearts of men, it does change the habits of men if it's vigorously enforced. And I've been involved because of that in various things such as the local authorities against apartheid in, in um, the UK when I was a councillor for Chesterfield. I've been involved in various um, cases when I was uh, uh, acting for Unison, the trade union. I always remember Dr King's inspiration on that day in November 67, 50 years ago. It's never left me. I think that the life-changing aspects of Martin Luther King resonate across the world. There's a lot of people who've seen his speech, who know what he stood for, are aware of the peaceful protests and his civil rights movement rather than armed struggle uh, protests. And I believe that that's the right way that day, giving that speech, and the reaction of the people who were there on the day and people who read about it afterwards, I think was um, just monumental, life-changing for a lot of people.